Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, celebrating the Christmas holidays here with my family in Connecticut where I grew up. But I just had to comment on an amazing development in the ongoing culture wars. A city in the state of California, of all places, has just banned Pride Month. And not just Pride Month, we're talking Black History Month, Women's History Month. I mean, this is amazing stuff, and it's an excellent template for precisely how more and more local communities can effectively fight back against the ridiculousness of identity politics nonsense. Now, before we dive into your gang, in light of the Grinches at Google demonetizing us, make sure to click on that link below and support our awesome sponsor, and that's the amazing Old Country Soap. Made on a farm in South Dakota using traditional techniques, they use only locally sourced special ingredients without the harsh chemicals that can dry out your hair and skin. Every single bar includes pure and unfiltered bentonite clay, which works wonders. It helps to soothe and relieve dry and sensitive skin. It's known for its healing properties that help with psoriasis and eczema. It also pulls dirt and oil from pores, helping to clear up acne. I mean, it's amazing stuff. It works great for your hair. You can use it to shave. It's safe for your pets. And of course, to top it all off, it's made right here in the USA. Use promo code TURLY for an exclusive 20% discount off your order. And every order will include an extra gift. Just pay the shipping. It's more than worth it. So go ahead, gang. Reward yourself with this amazing Patriot product. You will not be disappointed. Click on that link below right now. The California city of Huntington Beach is turning heads, not just in their own state, but throughout the nation in a bold move to crush cultural Marxist identity politics in their own backyard. It's being widely reported that the municipality's government has indeed eliminated Pride Month, Black History Month, and Women's History Month, among a number of other bans against any and all forms of left-wing identity politics. In its place, the city council has adopted a new 12-month celebratory history schedule that's not only free of any and all identity politics, but it instead celebrates and reveres our nation's customs, cultures, and traditions. So here's a sampling of what the new calendar looks like. January will now be called Founders Legacy Month, dedicated to celebrating Huntington Beach's origins. February will now commemorate the Revolutionary and Civil War. March will be California History Month. April will commemorate the founding of Huntington Beach's Railroad, and you're going to love this. May will be the Bill of Rights Month, dedicated to learning and highlighting the first 10 amendments to the Constitution. In addition, June will commemorate the history of Independence Day and what it means today. Now, this new calendar, Banning All Things Woke, actually comes on the heels of what just happened in the state of Oklahoma a couple of weeks back, where the governor there just signed a sweeping ban on DEI throughout the state's colleges and universities. And that ban came on the heels of the state of Tennessee officially suing BlackRock in the first of its kind ESG lawsuit. ESG stands for Environmental and Social Governance Policies, which functions very much like a new kind of social credit system comparable to the Chinese system that's being imposed on businesses by companies like BlackRock, as well as the WEF, the World Economic Forum. And so now for the very first time ever, in what may indeed prove to be a precedent-setting case, a global asset manager, BlackRock, is being sued by a state attorney general for leveraging investors' money to pursue partisan political goals without their investors' consent. And of course, all of this is part of the ongoing fallout from the Supreme Court's decision to overturn affirmative action and rule it unconstitutional in hiring practices and college admission standards precisely because it involves reverse discrimination. But it's actually part of a larger trend that we're seeing throughout the nation of a massive and growing pushback against all things woke. You may have seen this, but it's being widely reported that woke DEI workers are being fired literally everywhere. DEI workers first came to the forefront in the wake of the whole George Floyd riots. That's when corporate America went basically woke and started implementing what's called DEI programs. It stands for diversity, equity, and inclusion, right? DEI. And that's when corporations started bringing in these DEI officers who supposedly have 
expertise to ensure equitable and accessible workplaces for people of all backgrounds. That's how they marketed it or justified it. It turns out DEI officers were just rabid woke ideologues enforcing reverse discrimination in the workplace. DEI is just affirmative action on steroids. But alas, again, as it's being widely reported, these DEI positions are, as we speak, getting slashed literally everywhere. It does appear that wokeness has overstayed its welcome, or to change the metaphor, it's overplayed its hand in the country. You may have seen this. Bud Light just reported their worst sales year in 20 freaking years. We're talking billions of dollars of market cap losses, all because their marketing geniuses thought it would benefit the brand to go woke, to impose their warped ideology on the rest of us using corporate America as their propaganda platform. We actually may end up looking back some years from now and note that the Bud Light Dylan Mulvaney moment was the fixed historical point when uh, the woke mind virus started to recede. We'll have to see, but everyone, and I mean everyone, admits they recognize that wokeness killed Bud Light, or better, a massive backlash against wokeness killed Bud Light. And the lesson learned here is, of course, the age-old adage, get woke, go broke, right? It's happening literally everywhere. Everyone is seeing it. It's happening to Hollywood. It's happening to Disney. It's happening to Netflix. It's happening to Hulu. It's happening to Ivy League, poison Ivy League universities that are losing billions in donations and endowments. It's happening to the public school system. It's losing record numbers of students to the massive surge in homeschooling. Getting woke means going broke, with more and more populations and industries distancing themselves from anything that even has a hint of wokeness. And if Huntington Beach in California gets its way, that's going to include the calendar as well. But first, gang, as many of you know, we have unfortunately been completely and totally demonetized, which is putting our daily communication with one another at risk like never before. Now, we are actively working on getting this resolved, but as things stand, this channel has, uh, without any warning, been totally and completely demonetized. And as Elon Musk said so powerfully last week, the whole point of these demonetization efforts is to deliberately try to make us patriots feel like we're all alone. They want to sever our relationship with each other and force on us a kind of digital solitary confinement so as to demoralize us and discourage us like never before. But to their horror, it's not working. Over this past week, you have carried this channel like never before. We've had more people than ever make the courageous decision to bypass big tech and join our Insiders Club. We, we have direct access to one another that can never be interrupted by big tech overlords. Over the last seven days, we've seen literally thousands of you come to our rescue. And you've done it in two ways. You signed up for our free newsletter and you've officially joined our Insiders Club. Those two acts alone are enough for us to collectively stand together and never, ever have our relationship severed. So I'm inviting the rest of you to do the same today just by clicking on that link below and signing up for our newsletter and joining our Insiders Club. You are guaranteeing that there is nothing that big tech can do to get between us and make us feel like we're in a digital solitary confinement. It's as simple as clicking on the link below right now and opting into our free email newsletter. And once you do that, you can financially support us by joining our Insiders Club. Gang, from the bottom of my heart, I cannot thank you enough for your support during a time like this. You are my heroes, and it will be my mission to express my appreciation for every single one of you each and every week.